We're here with sophomore midfielder Rochelle Masseri after a 1-0 victory in the NAC semifinal round over New England College. Uh, the Monks are the number two seed. Um, New England was the number three seed. Um, with the win, St. Joseph's moves on to the championship game, which will be played Saturday. Um, and we anxiously await um, the result of a Husson Castleton game uh, to see where that championship will be played. Um, Michelle, you scored today's only goal, the game winning goal, um, pretty early there in the second half. Uh, just talk about that goal and, and how that play developed. Um, basically, it was it was a good ball coming in. It went by um, one of our one of our other forwards and one of New England College defenders, and um, I just kind of had it went in and um, <clears throat> just kind of lifted it over the goalie to uh, the top corner. Yeah, it was it was a beautiful goal. I happened to be standing right there as I was walking to the press box, and it was just a a rifle shot right to the top right corner. The goalie had no chance. Uh, that was your third goal of the year. Uh, of course, you play in the middle and and not known to uh, have many opportunities to score. Um, and that was your second game-winning goal of your career and certainly the, probably the biggest goal that you've yeah. ever scored in your field hockey uh, <laughs> career. Just kind of talk about how that feels to score that kind of goal. Um, you know, it feels good, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of like about time, like we had to score, we had to get one in. Um, and, and not only that, like the defense held 14 corners back, so, uh, you know, it all comes down to the team, but yeah, it's nice to finally get one in. Right, and that was a struggle. That was going in. You had to know it was going to be a tough game. Yeah. Um, New England had only lost twice since you defeated them here um, earlier in the season by a five to two score. Now today is a one nothing score. So that kind of shows um, how the teams have have come along as the years progress. So this will be the second year in a row. You're a sophomore. Two years in a row now. You have made an appearance in the conference championship game. Um, coming here as a freshman, being recruited by Coach Lewis, knowing the history of the program. Um, talk about what this means for you, what it means for your team, and, and the program in general. Um, you know, we've, I believe we've never won our, the NAC, so um, I think we all want to win. We have a great opportunity this year. Meg Johnson got a Defensive Player of the Year, which is huge. So we have her in net this year, our last year to have her, so I think we want to use that. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully the championship game will be home. That would be nice. Um, we would take on Hassan again, but otherwise we got to keep the fire going. You know, we've won the past few games, been playing really well lately. Hassan so. won, won zero. We, <laughs> we just learned that Hassan won the the so game versus the other semifinal <laughs> games. So St. Joseph's College will be home on Saturday. Championship game. Championship that's game at awesome. home again. Um, that's huge. A home crowd. And uh, very exciting for the program to have another home championship game. So just tell us what's going through your mind right now when you learn well, that news. Now knowing that we're playing Hassan, um, I've only been here for two years. But, um, you know, Hassan got rid of us last year um, and the year before that too. So even though I wasn't there that year, I feel the fire from the team for that. Um, we want it this year. We've picked everything up. We beat Plymouth State, who only had one other loss, who killed other teams in our conference. Um, we're making a statement, we want we want it this year, real bad. So we're gonna peaking. continue to just keep the fire up and just keep fighting for it. Peaking at the right time here. Yep, everybody's fighting. Right. Practices are way different now. Everything's everything's changing. Everybody's really giving everything they have. So that's awesome. Well congratulations. Thank I want you to, I want to give you a chance to go celebrate with your teammates and your family about finding out you're gonna be hosting the game here on Saturday. Yep. And uh, congratulations on the win and good luck Saturday. Thank you very much. Thank you.